All right, guys, Edgar with Poolman University. Today, we are in the presence of Eric Knight from Arenda. We are going to be talking and continuing to talk about the LSI. And so in the last video, we talked about what the LSI is and how the brand new pool guy could use that tool to ensure that their pools are balanced, that their water's not gonna be corrosive, that they're not gonna do any damage to that pool. In this video, what we wanna do is we wanna ask Eric what the factors are that go into the LSI. Great, well, thank you, Edgar. Uh, there are six factors that need to be taken account in the LSI. So the formula calls for six different things. Um, some of them you test pretty regularly. Some of them, most people don't even know they're supposed to test. And um, one of the biggest learning experiences we've had dealing with pool professionals and homeowners is uh, teaching them that, you know, you may not have to test all of these things every single time you visit a pool, but if you're like completely unaware of your TDS, for instance, you have no baseline for actually knowing how balanced your water is. And this is a deceptive trap. So I'm going to list through the, the six factors real quick. And the first four that I'm going to mention, when they go up, when they rise, the LSI also rises. Okay. So these are the four that, that when they rise, the LSI rises. That would be pH, water temperature, carbonate alkalinity or corrected alkalinity, and calcium hardness. The more calcium, the more alkalinity, the more pH, the more temperature, your LSI is going up, which means it's leading it or it's leading your water to be um, more saturated with calcium carbonate, which is eventually going to lead to scale formation if it gets too high. There's two other factors that the higher they go, they actually bring the LSI down. They make your water more corrosive. So it's the opposite. And those two factors are cyanuric acid and total dissolved solids, which includes salt. And so uh, I'll give you a perfect example. You could have textbook range, great chemistry. And if you do this on the Arenda app, you'll know what I'm saying. Uh, you could have perfectly textbook range, 7.4 pH. You could have 80 or 90 alkalinity, 250 to 300 calcium, all that's well and good. But if you have that pool, again, textbook perfect. If that pool is a salt pool and you have 3,200 parts per million salt, but we really needed the TDS. So now we have to add on that 300 calcium and that alkalinity. So let's call it 3,500 TDS. And let's say you're responsible and have 40 parts per million cyanuric acid. You do that on the calculator and you're going to realize that that perfect water is actually aggressive. It's corrosive because it's low on the LSI. And that means the water is actually hungry for calcium and it's going to lead to etching. These are things you have to take into consideration. And the other thing that most people don't think about is temperature in season when the water's warm, that's a very different chemistry than in the winter time. Now, I know you're in Texas, Edgar. I'm in North Carolina. It's cold. I mean, it's January right now. Water temperatures here are probably in the low 40s, maybe high 30s. But in many parts of the country, pools are frozen right now. So they're down at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's substantially different water chemistry when everything gets that cold and the LSI calculator in the Arenda app, we'll show you exactly what that means. Great. So Eric, I'm going to ask you on a separate video because you talked about carbonate alk alkalinity. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask you that on the next video so that the guys, as they're watching these videos, they can kind of come back and figure out what carbonate alkalinity is because it's not the same as total alkalinity. That's correct. It is a corrected version of total alkalinity. Happy to explain that in another video if you want. Great. So Eric, for the guys out there that want to be able to find the Arenda app, be able to download it and use it when they're at their pools, where can they find it? Uh, it's in the App Store or Google Play. It's just called Orenda, O-R-E-N-D-A. And we have links to it all throughout our marketing material. It's all on our Facebook page. It's, it's not hard to find.